And I mean, this is 12 consecutive days, longest losing streak in at least half a century for the yen, and there's no signs of a let-up. What are the key thresholds that we're watching now? And are we likely to see, I guess, a stepping up when it comes to verbal intervention? Yeah, all eyes on the yen every single day now, considering how it's really stunned investors from Tokyo to New York on just how ferocious its losses have been. Now, um, no one can truly predict yet what the end ga game here will be because of the multiple levels that have just taken out day by day. So just to recap in terms of what people are expecting, some investors are saying 130 could be reached within weeks, something that you wouldn't have thought of last year considering it's lost nearly 10% against the dollar in the last four months alone. Um, and you have calls from Society General, for instance, saying that 150 is achievable because of the Bank of Japan's policy divergence with the Fed. So definitely something to keep an eye on. Are we going to see more verbal intervention coming from the Japanese government, coming from the BOJ itself as well? Yeah, definitely that's the view of the market. I mean, we saw Bank of Japan's uh, Kuroda ramping up warming, warnings on the yen's uh, rapid decline yesterday. Every day you're seeing a minister or, or a Bank of Japan official sort of coming out to, to voice their concern about the excessive swings in the yen, saying that it can be negative. But markets are still willing to really test uh, their the resolve here to uh, and, and trying to see past some of the interventions purely because of that policy divergence play. So it's definitely a story of, you know, the markets versus central bankers here.